Today we're going to dive into the world of layers and blocks. First, let's look at a simple object on the screen. By reviewing its properties, you'll notice that it is on the 2D hardware layer. Its color, line type, and line weight are all set by the layer with a continuous line and a weight of 0.0. .0. Now let's contrast this with another object where the color, line type, and line weight are also set by layer. You might wonder, what's the difference? If you change the layer's color property, both objects will change in color. But if you change the line type or line weight, only one object may change depending on its settings. When drawing, it's essential to ensure that all characteristics are set by layer if you want objects to change when modifying the layer. Avoid different options that may cause the object to remain static when changing characteristics. Now, I'll demonstrate how to create blocks using this object. First, let's delete the existing object. Then, set the correct option to by layer. Write the specific number. Pick a point for location and select the object. Before proceeding to create other blocks, let's examine the objects. In our case, the object was drawn on layer 0, and the characteristics of color, line type, and line weight are set by layer. Now, I'll create the blocks. All our objects are now blocks, but what sets them apart? Let's explore. If you need to change an object or block to a new layer, such as hinge, you'll notice that the block retains its original characteristics. It's crucial to create blocks in layer 0. If you use a different layer, the object won't adapt when you change it to another layer. Two objects may both be created in layer 0, but one may have its characteristics set by layer and the other by block. When creating a block with the by block option, you can independently alter its color and other attributes. However, if you use the by layer option, changes will be dependent on the layer. In summary, when working with blocks, always create them in layer 0. You can use the options by layer or by block, but understanding the differences is vital for effective drawing. Remember, the right settings can make a big difference in your work, so choose wisely. Thank you for joining me, and happy drawing.